Hi, my name is Andy McKenzie, and I'm a customer success manager here at Therma. Today, you will learn how to get the most out of your Therma dashboard. In this video, you will learn about the features of the Therma dashboard that make it possible for you to draw actionable insights from your data. This video will not feature step-by-step -step instructions on how to use your Therma dashboard. If you're looking for these instructions, find the link to our dashboard quick start guide in the description below. To begin, navigate to the Dashboard tab to start evaluating your data. The first visual on the Dashboard page is the temperature graph. Each colored line represents a separate location. The temperature graph allows you to easily identify spikes and shifts in temperature and humidity. In general, measuring data over short periods, such as in minutes or hours, allows you to understand real-time events, such as the door of a low boy being left open. Viewing progressions over extended periods can help indicate the need for equipment maintenance. The bottom section of the dashboard tab has a record of alerts logged by each of your sensors. Monitoring the number of alerts logged is essential because it allows you to view equipment trends. Let's take a look at five real life examples to learn how to draw actionable conclusions that may occur throughout restaurant operations. Here, we notice a gradual upward trend in temperature for this unit since deployment, resulting in an increase in the average temperature of nearly five degrees Fahrenheit. In this situation, we recommend turning down the temperature of this unit to see if this resolves the increase in temperature. A slight increase in temperature over a period of time may be an early indicator that this unit will require maintenance in the near future. Based on this data set, we can see a robust but gradual trend in temperature for this unit since deployment. This has resulted in an increase in the average temperature of nearly 10 degrees Fahrenheit. This has also caused a recent increase in the alerts triggered for the sensor. As in the previous example, we recommend turning down the temperature of this unit to see if this resolves the increase in temperature. In this instance, you can see that there are multiple substantial variations in temperature for this unit since deployment sometimes resulting in up to a 40 degree fluctuation in temperature. Suppose this is not the result of a projected or scheduled usage for this unit. In that case, we recommend examining how the equipment is being handled and stocked to extend the lifespan, lessen overall power consumption, and reduce the number of thermal alerts triggered for this unit. Based on the temperature data available here, we can observe that this sensor is currently reading at room temperature. It may be a possibility the sensor is currently not in use or has been removed from this unit. Here is a prolonged increase in temperature accompanied by thermal alerts for most of this location's units. If this prolonged increase in temperature was due to schedule equipment downtime, we would recommend disabling alerts during these times as a way to create less and more meaningful thermal alerts. Thank you for spending time with me today to learn how to better use your Thermo dashboard. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find tutorial videos and other helpful tips to get the most out of your Thermo remote monitoring system.